I'm certainly disappointed in the outcome. Um, similar to last night, uh, you know, we played hard. We actually played pretty, pretty efficiently at times, uh, but we just, this team has to learn how to win. The second and final day of the Tiger Classic did not go as planned for the LSU volleyball team as they were defeated in five sets by the University of South Florida. Uh, I think we had a, a lot of fight and we brought the passion today, I think. Um, just wasn't enough and I don't, we just have to believe in ourselves and what we're capable of doing because we have all the pieces, we just need to put it together. Senior outside hitter Tony Rodriguez led the way for the LSU volleyball team with 15 kills. But even with that, USF was able to close out the game. Uh, definitely uh, not the performance I expected. I thought we'd come out gritty, um, and, and we did for a little bit. We just didn't sustain it long enough. And when you, when you outplay a person as we did on the stat sheet, um, it's hard to understand how the heck you lose a match like this when you have this many more kills. But, you know, um, the errors are not that far off. It, it just we couldn't make the play when we need to make the play. After a tough loss, junior outside hitter Milan Stokes remains optimistic about what's to come for her team this season. You know, we have a lot of work, but it's going to be so exciting because we are literally one step away from doing something amazing. Next up, the Tigers will travel to Michigan where they will face Colorado State. For Tiger TV, I'm Kayla Thomas.